since the start of November, only Brentford have lost more Premier League away games than Newcastle. So defeats coming at Bournemouth, Everton, Tottenham, Luton, Liverpool, Arsenal and last night. Conceding goals is a bit of a problem as well on the road. Let's have a look at this. Tw look at that, 32 goals conceded, the most away from home, joint with Sheffield United, Luton have an away match, of course, midweek, but a real concern. And, of course, they've missed the number of defenders being injured and Nick Pope's been a huge loss. And any chances of European football next season, their away form will certainly have to improve. Yeah, th those uh, are worrying trends and statistics, aren't they? Th there's two ways of looking at this, isn't there? That, first of all, Newcastle are going backwards or that they so overachieved last season that now they're beginning to find their feet and inevitably will settle down and they'll move forward once again. So is Eddie Howe given credit in the bank for last season or is pressure mounting on him? I think he should, certainly should have credit in the bank from last season, you know, to, to qualify for the Champions League in the way that they did, you know, with the joint best defence in the league, let's remember as well. Like, it has been quite a drop-off in that sense at the back. Um, so, first of all, I think Eddie Howe does serve credit in the bank, given that, you know, yeah, they were you know, qualified for the Champions League ahead of schedule. Um, but equally, yeah, it has been quite a drop off. At the same time, there are mitigating factors. You know, they've been without Nick Pope, Joel Linton, Joe Willock, Sven Botman, Harvey Barnes, Callum Wilson, Alexander Izak, all for significant portions of this season. The, the squad is not quite deep enough yet for them to be able to deal with, you know, that amount um, of absences um, and so in some ways it's not surprising to see how inconsistent they've been this season especially when they were having to juggle Champions League football in the first half of the campaign having said that you know I think Eddie Howe will be really really keen to finish in the top half because they do finish in the bottom half then that is quite a big drop off and if the club if the club's owners are to um, invest more in this squad then given the caliber of managers who are available this summer I wouldn't be surprised if they became a little bit tempted um, to look at their options in that sense. Yeah, it'll be interesting. I think where they finish this season is also quite crucial in that we've seen them sort of coming close to, if not falling foul of PSR rules as mm. well. So it does feel like they need to sell a top player potentially this summer or at least in the next couple of windows. So they're not going to be able to attract the biggest price that they could possibly do that if the players and the team aren't performing as you expect. And they've only lost, sorry, only won four of their last 14 league games now. They're sort of marooned in, or marooned in mid, uh, mid table, I should say. And the teams around them in that mid table are actually in better form than them as well. So there are mitigating factors, but it has been, definitely been a disappointing step back, particularly defensively, as Mikey says.